now. I'll just turn it back over to you. Let's continue. Let's keep the ball rolling. Awesome. Thank you, Bart. And tonight we've got two very, very special guests. I'm very pleased to have them on the show. Um, Mr. Todd Wooten. Todd is a, a financial professional, financial advisor. Uh, a lot of you heard him at convention and gives great advice for that. And Todd, are you on the show tonight? You're bored. Yes, sir, Ralph. I'm here. Hey, how are you? I'm well, sir. Awesome. And, and you know, I want to just jump right in. You gave such great advice at convention, but folks that have home businesses, what's some of the top maybe couple advantages that you can talk to folks about if you've got a home advantage, home business here's some great advantages that you need to be aware of well i think that's a great question and i think everybody in america needs to have a home business for a couple reasons one is the traditional trading hours for dollars is really not keeping up it's not allowing the normal family enough money to pay their bills or to pay themselves or to put away for their future. And uh, there's something that's getting ready to happen in America that's never, ever, ever, ever happened. And here's what it is. It's called retirement. Now people say, well, we've been retiring for years. That's true. But we've never retired at the volume that we're getting ready to experience. That's the baby boomers in Generation X. What that means is that there's 10,000 people a day retiring Wow. And that's going to go on for the next 20, 25, and 30 years. Why is that important? Well, number one is that we have several unfunded liabilities out there from a country, and that is Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, a lot of the defined benefit plans, defined contribution plans from corporations that a lot of people work are going down or not being eliminated. So if there's ever a need and ever a time to dig your well before you get thirsty or have multiple streams of income or do a better job at saving or creating wealth outside of the system, it's today. So the handwriting's on the wall. Wow. And so you've really got to, to look at that if ever before, we've got to have an in-home business. And it really helps us make up lost time. If you were to ask the average American, are you on pace with retirement planning? Probably the majority of them will say, no, I'm behind. So an in-home business allows you to make up lost time. And uh, it does it through different ways. In fact, this industry and Univera yourself, Ralph, and leadership and the corporate and the field is amazing, has enhanced that ability to have an in-home business where we can take a little bit of our time and very little bit of our money and invest it in a system that's going to create wealth that at times can succeed what we're doing, trading hours for dollars. And so just because of where we're at economically and what's getting ready to take place, we all need to do a better job at saving and having multiple streams of income. I think the next thing is the tax benefits. The tax code was written for small business owners, not employees. And when you work for a system, you have many more benefits than if you work for money. And the mentally tough people, they realize the middle class thinkers trade time for money, but the world class thinkers trade solutions for money. And Univera offers more than just wealth. I mean, it has the ability to create wealth, to create time, to create health, and to minimize taxes. Looking at it from a perspective, from a financial advisor, I have a unique ideal client. And what I mean by that is a lot of them have won the money game or have retired. And I'll go to them and I'll say, Joe, if I can show you how to create the most amount of wealth, in the least amount of time and taxes with a high probability of success, is that the type of conversation you would like to have? And most of my ideal clients say, well, sure. Here's what's exciting. That's exactly what Univera offers, mm -hmm. is that we can help people create wealth in a short period of time because of leverage and duplication, and at the same time reduce taxes and with a high probability of success, because you folks have put in a system 
that is proven. It's like a private franchise. It's not whether it works, it works. Yeah. Al's taught me many things and has contributed to what you've done, Ralph. And, you know, it's like a private franchise. You have a system, you have a process. The difference is we can get into a system without the capital and time commitment, but there's no penalty if we violate the system or a franchise that costs you if you do. And so I think with our economic condition and where people are at financially being behind and the amount of taxes they're paying, it really is a no brainer for people to start something on the side to be able to make up what they're not getting in the traditional world as they once did. But in addition to is health, which is amazing and incredible and beneficial. You know, it, it's, you bring up some great points, and, and, and one of them is it, you don't think about it as a franchise, but a lot of times it really is. And, and the barrier of entry uh, for any type of franchise, normally the capital up front is, is significant, and the barrier of entry here is almost nothing. I mean, it's Absolutely. really, truly minimal when you, when you talk about it in terms of that franchise opportunity. Absolutely, and it's, it's incredible, and unfortunately it's so easy people don't take it serious. And, uh, but if they understand what they have a hold of, and, and I want to say this, the leadership, because when you invest time and money in a business model, you not want it to be here today, but you want it to be here tomorrow yeah. for your later years and your family. And I was with John Maxwell a number of years ago, and he said, Todd, leadership is nothing more, nothing less than influence. And he said, everything rises and falls on leadership. He said, it's the elevator principle. He said, people are either lifting you or corporations up or they're pulling them down. I'm new, but I'm getting to know you, Ralph. Bart, invaluable position. Mm -hmm. Al, and then the leaders at conference that I met, I can't be more excited to be involved in an organization that can help people in so many ways, but that has the leadership and Bill Lee's vision that this isn't short term or temporary or good for just the next few years or a wave or a trend. This is a lifetime legacy opportunity to change our lives and to pass something on to our families, children. And we're going to need to do that because things are not getting easier. They're getting more and more difficult out there on our own. Yeah, you know, the statistics you quoted are, are, are just staggering. And I know I've run across a few of them myself and in some private banking situations where they, they've told me that, you know, the, the average American is retiring right now with $40,000 on average, but that's including their home equity, which means basically their savings is, is nothing. And, and they're barely floating above, you know, when you compare that mortgage ratio to actually the equity they've got. It is so true. And if you look at inflation alone, you know, uh, the value of the dollar is depreciating, going down. If you sit there and hold that dollar, it's going to get smaller. It's like a popsicle on a hot summer day. <laughs> uh, it's just going to get smaller. Uh, you have government penalties and regulations. You've got inflation. You've got risk. You've got taxation. You've got all these things that are just putting pressure on every household trying to survive. But yet a business like this with your leadership and the business model that you folks have created, it allows the newest person to make money and that hobbyist to make money or those that want to truly create wealth and legacy, it encompasses all three. Yeah. And that's fascinating. Yeah, sustainability too in, in industry in general like that. Um, you're, you're right. And we're going into our 20th year here, which is unprecedented in this, this type of business like that. But this company is just very different. This idea is sustainability. I think back to, you know, when I was working Fortune 50 there and, you know, some pretty reputable names like that. And even in those cases, sometimes that the vision, uh, that decision is based on the stockholders or what you've got to do on a quarterly earnings basis, which obviously very familiar with. And not necessarily for the long term. Being in a private firm with private equity across the board, it's, it's really a luxury in how you can make those long-term sustainable decisions, you know, in running the company as opposed to just simply having to worry about what's the dividend. You're absolutely right.
Absolutely. I don't believe you solve today's problems with yesterday's solutions. Yeah. You don't run a business today like you did yesterday. You don't invest money today like you did yesterday. And I don't think you make money today like you did yesterday. And that's why this system is the new way of being able to sustain wealth and to supplement and create wealth because we can't keep doing what we've always done. We'll continue to get what we've always got. And you can't solve the problem you got your in with in with the same level of thinking that got you there. We've got to get outside of the box and surround ourselves with, I mean, the leaders are just, when I went to convention and I spent that little bit of money, um, Benjamin Franklin says, empty your purse into your head and what's in your head will fill your purse. And I have learned that your earning rate never exceeds your growth rate. Yeah. And when I got to go to convention, that was my first one. So I'm new. But I walked away with my battery charged. I walked away with more knowledge and wisdom. I walked away with inspiration and, and wisdom from so many and support and help. I mean, I couldn't help to say, why not do more of this? Yeah. And it was incredible just the leaders that you folks have attracted that is attracting me as a new person. Todd, thank you so much. Great advice for people. Really, really terrific advice and uh, really a lot for them to think about. Um, really appreciate you being in the broadcast tonight and taking the time. Thank you. Well, thank you, sir, for your leadership, time and wisdom. And I look forward to serving you.